Hello, welcome to my design 3D. Let's make this cute witch. Add image as a reference. You can search Chibi Blueprint on Google. Down the opacity, shift D to duplicate, R to rotate 19 degree, and G to move side view through place. Uncheck the selectable. Add cube, Ctrl 3 for subdivision modifier, Ctrl A for apply modifier. Scale your sphere, Z to wireframe, in edit mode select half of vertices and delete. Add mirror modifier and check clipping. O to proportionals edit, you can set your size with middle mouse. G to move your vertices for matching to the reference image. Numpad 3 to side view and 1 to front view. Exactly, I didn't follow clearly the path of reference and modeling character process. I think making chibi or child character is easy because of round shapes and lines. So, feel free yourself, sometimes it can be look weird, but not important, with proportional edit, you can always correct away. In solid view, Select some faces around the mouth, E to extrude and scale in z-axis for making mouth space. Scale your vertices as proportional edit is open and S in z-axis for make tiny mouth. You can play with your vertices for mouth shape making. If your vertices is not enough, feel free yourself to add another loop cut for make true shape of the face. You can add another loop cut for noise shape. Feel free yourself, chibi character's noise are really tiny and round shape. When we apply another subdivision modifier, it will look good. For I, select faces, X to delete, select edge line with Alt, right click and loop tool, circle. E to extrude in Y axis and scale a bit. If you want, you can add another loop cut, inner part of the eye hole. Set your vertices like a bit round the eye shape. For neck, we will make same thing, select button faces and X to delete, select loop tool with Alt and circle, E to extrude with the side view, E to extrude and scale again, you can match it with your reference image. If it's not enough, add another loop cut with Ctrl R and scale and move them. It's important thing to uh, check your character body, front view and side view. It can be look weird sometimes, 
but it's not important because you can size your proportional edit with middle mouse and G to move your vertices to matching reference image. If you want to make straight line your loop cuts, make this S, Y and 0. It will make straight loops. And continue to place your vertices with proportional edit. For bottom edge line, select edges with Alt, S, Z, 0, scale in Z axis. It will be straight circle. For legs, after fill, I to inset, E to extrude in down. You can add another loop cut and scale it like leg shape, roundy. For full, select faces and E to extrude in Y axis. Sometimes vertices can be uh, stick together. If it occur, uncheck the mirror modifiers clipping, correct your shape, after that you can open it. Continue to make round shapes with your vertices and proportional edit. Let's make same process for arms. Add another loop cut. Select four faces and delete faces. E to extrude them in front view and scale. Select arms edge line with Alt and right click loop tool circle. Make same process to down arm, E to extrude and scale with your reference. Let's add some hands. Add cube, scale, Ctrl R, add 3 loop cut. Ctrl B to bevel. Select bottom faces and extrude them in Z-axis. Give some hand shape. If you want, you can make like globe or astronaut hand how you want. Scale your hand and add subdivision surface modifier with level viewport 2. You can add another loop cut for flat fingers. You can scale and you can change size of it. You see, arm has 8 vertices. We have to equal hands and arms vertex count. Select top of faces hands and loop tool circle as to scale. Delete faces. Apply subdivision surface modifier. You see there are most of edges in here. You can delete some edge lines for make equal arms vertices. Don't corrupt the main shape of hands. Join them together with Ctrl J. For make equal this you can add another loop cuts to your base mesh. Select arm bottom edge line with Alt and shift select hands edge line. Right click loop tool and bridge. You can scale your hand shape now. Let's add eyeballs, add sphere, rotate in an x axis in 19 degrees. 
Play Sweet to Your Character Hat. You can play with your vertices around the eyeball for natural look. Select Sphere, Add Mirror Modifier. As an object, select your hat. It will mirror it. Let's make eyelashes. Add Plane, Scale, E to Extrude. Add Subdivision Surface Modifier and Shade Smooth. Select all vertices. Add another loop cut and extrude some part of eyelash. Shade Smooth and place it to your character. For this, again, add Mirror Modifier, select your head. Eyelashes is ready now. Let's make eyebrows. Add Plane again, Scale, place it to your head, extrude the vertices. Add Subdivision Surface Modifier, Shade Smooth and select all vertices with A and E to extrude in Y axis. In wireframe, you can scale and G to move for head face. Add Mirror Modifier it too. It's time to add some hair, add Curve Circle. Give this type of shape a bit look curly, subdivide at another vertexes. Give a name, hair shape. Add another curve, pad. Select your curve, go to curve settings and geometry. Under the bevel, select object as our circle hair. Shape will be like that. Scale it. In edit mode, you can scale vertices with Alt S. G to move to your head for bank part of hair. I will make this process for all hairs. Scale, G to move and place it. If you want after that, you can change your circle shape of hair when you want. Shift it to duplicate, rotate and scale. If you want to make equal parts, you can add some mirror modifier to hairs. Let's make some witch head, add circle in top to edit mode, E to extrude and S to scale, E to extrude in Z axis again and scale, for top of it, press M and add center to vertex, shade smooth, add another loop cut, E to extrude and Alt S for some part of head. B to bevel for loop cuts, smooth look. Select bottom face, I to inset and delete face. Select edge line, E to extrude and scale. After that, F. Place it to your character's head. and make tidy up your hair. Let's make cloth. Select your character's body faces. Shift it to duplicate, P, selection, 
and S to scale and G to move to your clothes how you want. Select bottom edge line and G to down a bit. You can delete some faces how you shape you want to give your clothes. And you can play with vertex G to move. Select some face lines or add another loop cut. E to extrude, Alt S and select your face line. E to extrude and Alt S to scale. You can add another loop cut for sharp look. Let's make bolts. We make same thing to this. Select faces, Shift E to duplicate and P selection. S to scale. We make same process for bolts. Let's add some material. Select your skin material. For eyelashes and eyebrow, add black material. Let's add some lip color. Select faces around your lip, add another material with bit plus icon and give some pinky color. For hair, what color you want, you can set it. I made this like that. For clothes, I made a witch costume with the black and decreased roughness. You can select your some part of clothes and you can add another material and assign. Our clothes will look like that. You can make same thing for bots. It's time to add eye materials. Add eye materials and iris material. Select iris part of faces and assign them. E to extrude a bit, scale and G to move in Y axis. Go to shading tab. We will make some gradient. First add-ons and check the node wrangler. Add gradient texture and color ramp. Plug them to each other. It will look like that. Ctrl T to add mapping nodes. Select gradient texture the spherical color. Location X and Y will be minus 0.5. Add third color variation for color ramp and change your third color, which you want. Spherical will look like that. And before this, don't forget the texture coordinates UV to mapping plug each other them. And you can scale in with mapping node. Decrease the roughness. Maybe if you want, you can add some metallic. Let's make our render setup. Add plane and E to extrude to back part of line. Place your area lights on the scene. Give some color to the plane. Our render setup is ready. Thank you for watching. See you later.